what's up guys we are still updating you what is going on what is trending in nigeria greetings to you wherever you are so i have a quick update to share with you uh, we already know what is trending in nigeria i'm talking about the economic hardship uh, people are going through people are facing a lot as i am talking to you right now all right uh, if you check my previous video uh renoma pre-traveled to kenya of course i don't know what uh, he went to Kenya to do, but um, he was in Kenya trying to compare the prices of commodities uh, between Nigeria and Kenya. So if you check my previous video, you will get um, more information about that. He had to compare the price of uh, petrol, the price of tea, and the uh, price of electricity, price of other things compared to Nigeria. And yet um, I, you know, got um a kind of a truth okay from what reno or mercury says uh in that video you can check it out in my previous video now what actually happened i believe at this point in time the masses yes the nlc is trying to push towards that uh the masses should ask the government to increase uh the minimum wage okay because minimum wage now cannot even afford uh one bag of uh, rice uh, the NLC, I think they are projecting a hundred thousand naira for minimum wage, and then the APC government say um, they cannot afford to pay such. Or Tinubu's government cannot afford to pay such amount, a hundred thousand naira as minimum wage. Okay, so when we are talking about uh, prices of commodity in other countries, you understand where it is higher than here in Nigeria, we should be able to also ask question: What is their own minimum wage? That is just the truth. So I believe at this point in time, the masses and NLC have a lot of role to play here. You understand? Already they have uh, decided to embark on the uh, two weeks uh, nationwide strike over this economic hardship. So what the NLC should push is for the increment of minimum wage. I think with that, if it balance the prices of commodity and the minimum wage, if it balance, I don't see a reason why uh, the masses will be complaining. You understand? And then the, um, the government, according to um, Shetim, our Tinebu's government, they are planning to or uh, they are planning to regulate the food prices. Okay, so that is the uh, update I. I quickly want to share with you. So the federal government has planned to establish a national commodity board to solve the escalating food inflation in the country. Vice President Shetima made this known today being Tuesday at a two-day high-level strategic meeting on the climate change, food systems, and resource mobilization that was held in Abuja. So Shetima explained that the board would be given uh, the mandate to assess and regulate food prices and then as well uh, maintain a strategic food reserve for stabilizing prices of crucial grains and other food items. So according to him, he said that the event was an attestation of the government's effort at mitigating the effort of climate change and also ensuring food security for Nigerians. So uh, Shetima also noted that food security was one of the eight areas of priority declared by Tinebu as part of his renewed hope agenda. You understand? So according to him, uh, led to the declaration of the state of emergency on food security. He also highlighted ongoing policy reforms by the administration to ensure food and water availability and uh, affordability. All right, so that is uh, the update I have for you. Also, Shetima uh, said the administration was fully investing in the restoration of degraded land. All right, so um, let's just hope, uh, you know, things uh, change for good uh, because I still uh, agree to what some uh, other people agreed that I think at this point in time, uh, yes, we know that um, uh, commodities in other countries may be far higher than that of Nigeria, but we should also be able to ask their minimum wage. So what the NLC should do, I believe they should, um, you know, tax the federal government to increase the minimum wage, uh, you know, to a substantial amount that will be able to sustain uh, Nigerians, not just uh, the 35, uh, 30 something thousand naira that cannot even afford anything. You understand? So I think that is what the NLC should be pushing not complaining about 
uh, the prices of commodities. Yes. Now, complain about the price of commodities, just that the, the price is skyrocketed within a period of months. You understand? Nobody, it didn't give anybody uh, space to adjust themselves. That is just the truth. So people complain because it didn't give them any uh, space to adjust themselves. So that is the latest update I have for you. If you have anything to contribute, put it down in the comment section below.